Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Gap and this is Deponia. Welcome to a new series, and this actually consists of four games. It was supposed to be just uh, three, but lately there's a fourth out. And I had this game on my radar for quite some time, a couple of months actually, because it reminds me of another old game, uh, the Larry, uh, Ledger Suit Larry series, if you guys know what that is. Um, I was very young when I played those and it was pretty fun, it is point and click. And uh, that's what this is supposed to be as well. Uh, I had just have seen the trailers, I haven't seen gameplay that much. Uh, my best buddy is playing the game at the moment and he says it's very funny. So that's why I decided, yeah, sure, we should try this out as well. Yeah, and this will be a new series for Wednesday, for Indie Games Wednesday, starting right now. So, without further, further ado, let's just get right into it and check it out ourselves. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes. Okay, so... Press X to continue or swear to go back and re review the p previous part of the tutorial. Okay, um, let's just continue. You can control Rufus directly with the left stick. The item or character nearest to Rufus will automatically be selected. Alternatively, you can select hotspots by moving the right stick and use it like a cursor. Possible actions with a hotspot are being displayed around the hotspot. They are arranged like the buttons on the wireless controller. Okay, so with X we would have the hand, square is the eye, and triangle is the yin, whatever that is. The action shown under the hotspot can be used by pressing X. X can be used to interact with objects. The same applies for the speech bubble icon. The eye symbol, which is displayed on the left side of your selected hotspot, can be used by pressing square. Indicates that you can look at the selected object or person. Ah, okay. With L1 and R1 you can switch between all objects in range and select the one you want to interact with. Oh, that makes it easier, that's good. Alternatively, you can use the right stick on your wireless controller as a cursor and directly select items by pressing X. When picking up an item, it will, it will always show up in your inventory, as well as in your quick inventory, which is displayed in the bottom center. Aha! Okay. The selected item will be displayed right above the hotspot. By pressing triangle, you can combine the item from your inventory with a selected object in the current scene. Okay. Your collected items are also stored in your quick inventory. You can choose an item by pressing the left button or right button. I get that. Yeah, that is displayed. Okay. Special items like food can be used directly in the quick inventory by pressing the up button. Okay, that is not displayed. I have to remember that at some point. You can open or close the inventory by pressing R2 or the down button. Aha. Uh -huh. Use the left stick to mark an item and select it by pressing X. Alternatively, you can look at an item by pressing square. Now you can move to another item from the inventory by using the left stick and combine them by pressing triangle. Okay. Uh, by pressing, I think this is the options button, you can access the main menu. <clears throat> there you can save, load or change other settings. You can leave minigames and other cl close-ups by pressing circle. Now you know everything that's necessary to play the game. Have fun and enjoy your journey through Deponia. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did not remember everything. I hope I will just figure it out on the way. And that's <clears throat> and that's the beginning to Deponia, but it sounds pretty silent. I think I have to switch my audio settings a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, those are all German names. Most of them. <laughs> okay, let's let's just see um, what the sound is like. Yeah, I need to turn up the volume a little bit in just a bit. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my lift? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Okay, now we need to find a list. But before we do that, like I said, I'm just gonna um, adjust the audio a little bit. So, okay. Um, I still have to familiarize myself with um, the buttons. I know I can switch the different things with L1 and R1. Okay, and it has to be close by. So we have a telescope, we can look at that, we can touch it. We have a cushion, we have a suitcase. To the living area, we're gonna go there next. A torch, oil can, trunk. Um, I'm gonna start from the left and just take a look here. <laughs> nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's just not the TV. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter if I push square or X, it's the same. Okay. Nah, like All right, let's take a look at the cushion. What's this? A sock? <laughs> that explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. <laughs> okay, we got a sock. And we can combine that with something. And it looks like we combine it with the telescope, but I'm pretty sure that shouldn't work. Let's, let's just see what happens. That won't enhance the view one bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I can move him. That's cool. Uh, okay, he wants to leave, so I'm pretty sure we have to take a look at the suitcase and oh, put it in there. Yeah, yeah, it was one suck, we need a second. Almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? A bolt cutter? Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. Okay. So, let's put the sock in there. The matching sock first. Really? I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we need to find the other sock, and we need to find... Uh, what was it? A toothbrush? And a bolt cutter and other stuff. Uh, trunk. Let's take a look in here. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. Really? Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left Deponia without me. Hmm. Okay. Oil can. Let's take that. Let's take the torch. Don't know what I need this for. Um, and now let's go to downstairs. Still need to find one more sock. Ch what? Chafing chip? What the hell is that? Bathroom door. Wash basin tooth toothbrush. We need that. Whoa. The hell? Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Locker door. So, um, there's the bolt cutter. Nice. Detergent. Sure, I'll take this with you. Uh, close it. Don't need that anymore. Pony says it's my turn to clean the bathroom. Now that's just unfair. It's never her turn. I've been waiting for weeks, and it's never her turn. Her turn? Yes, a female. Uh, roommate. Yeah, I don't know what's what's wrong with a toothbrush. What nat's piss? Okay. Uh, can I use anything for that? Um probably not. No. Nah. Um okay, let's just take a look in here. What is this? Another note from Tony. Well, what's she complaining about now? Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. Hit her dreams. <laughs> oh, that's the bathroom. Okay. A plunger. Take it with you. Sure. Um, oh, can we, can we clean that? Nothing that needs plunger treatment, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, too bad. Wielding the plunger is my favorite pastime. 
So then close that. Nothing to do here. A dark corner. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Mm. Oh, crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Uh, ah, okay, let's take the plunger. Nope. The corner once was a good hiding place, but that's the first place Tony will look. Hä? Huh? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, anything else we could use? I don't know. Mm, maybe later. Let's take a look at the first aid kit. Locked. Tony must have the key. Hmm. Can we open it with this? Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn. That would have been a piece of cake with the right tools. Ah, we need a lock pick for that. Okay. Or can we use this? Nope. No. Nope. The corner once was a good hiding place, but that's the first place Tony will look. Oh, you mean to take the the sock? I wonder if I can find the second sock in here. Nah. Um So we can we open that with this? Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn. Nope. That would have been a piece of cake with the right tools. Are we gonna find us? A uh, door of Tony's room. Ah, there we will find the key, probably. Behind Tony's house. Okay, then let's go inside here. What? Okay. Well, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together. At all. Um. Okay, so how could we destroy that? Should we destroy this? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. <laughs> Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Actually, I, oh, I wanted to go inside, but I can't. We're still looking for a sock. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Then where the hell is the sock? Is there a downstairs? Ah, we can go down here. Ah, okay, okay. Um, let's start with this one closet. Huh? Not a chance. The handle is missing, and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Handle is missing. Hmm. Pretty sure nothing of this will work. Uh, let's. Take a look here. The good old sofa. Too bad I can't fit it into my escape pod. I've had the most amazing ideas sitting here, but you can always find leftovers in it. <laughs> then let's take the crumbs. Uh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there, <laughs> but without something to put them into, nah, I'm not collecting them. Okay, that means. Um, oh, is this empty? It already has plenty of oil stains. Oh, okay, then we need something else to put it in. Another note. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? Hmm. Oven. Let's take a look in there. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I need for the oven right now. Hot plate. Oh, cold. Huh. Okay, what else do we have? There's a fork, let's take that. Mm. And a pot. Another note. Malicious memo. <laughs> do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh yeah, well I'll take that chance. <laughs> uh, okay, once again we have detergent. This doesn't have to be cleaned yet. That's what I've been telling Tony for months. Okay. Blech. What napkin? Bitching post-it. <laughs> You've scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> There's the second sock. Well, a yellow and a green one? Okay. Uh, let's close that. There's a coat. Let's take that. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pocket. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. Another one? A blue one. 
Okay. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. In front of Tony's house, uh, hot plate, oven, crumbs. Hmm. Let's lose. Uh, let's get those crumbs. Uh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there, but I need a better container. The pot has no lid. They might end up rolling around in my inventory. Are you kidding? I have no idea. <laughs> I have actually no idea. Uh. Let's get rid of this thing. Oh! Okay, now we have an empty container. And now we can use this to get the crumbs, right? Uh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. All right. Uh, but still, I'm still missing one sock, and I need to get the toothbrush somehow. Okay, I have another. I have another idea. I need something flammable to start the fire. Ah. Uh, let's take the notes. In you go. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh was already cool. Um, okay, then let's take uh, the fire and let's see what happens. Cool. And then, what else could we use? Probably that goes on here, but I think we need something to put, we need to put something inside. Maybe, maybe the bees, uh, the, the beans? I like my wasabi uncooked. Okay. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Hmm. Too bad there's no boiling water. Ah, uh, okay. Let's take the pot back. Uh huh. Let's see what that does. I think the pot goes on the hot plate. I didn't I? Tony doing it that way. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so now that it's b boiling. Uh I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. But something's still missing. Yeah, we have to combine socks. We still need another sock. Hmm. Can you open the trunk, please? I've given up trying to open the trunk. I don't even want to know what's in there. But I want to know what's in there. Open it. I don't even want to know what's in there. I've given up trying to open the trunk. I don't even want to know what's in there. Hmm. Nice game, yeah, definitely. But I don't know where to go on from here. Ah, the first aid kit. It saved my life several times. But since the time I tried to build a shrapnel-propelled jet, there's no band-aid left. The only thing in there now is... Tony's tranquilizer. Oh, oh, I need that. And then we can actually uh, get the toothbrush, maybe. <laughs> we can't get in here. Can we open this with that? Huh, not a chance. Uh, although I can reach inside the crack, I don't have enough leverage. Leverage. There we go. <laughs> nice. The mouse hole. Let's take a look. Ouch! <laughs> Do it again. I'm not sticking my hand in there again. <laughs> okay, maybe we can use this trap to get the toothbrush. Nah, I don't think this will work without the right bait. And now we need bait as well. What do you need? What kind of bait for a toothbrush? Huh. Hmm. Maybe the provisions combined with a tooth. Not a uh, I bust my butt to get this stuff out of the sofa crack. <laughs> I haven't worked that hard for food in years. Yeah, I thought so. Using the beans. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. 
<laughs> Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> nice. So. Ha, gotcha. I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Okay, I still don't... Brush Hunter. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with the hot water. I I I hmm. I, I need one more sock. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. But something's still missing. Oh, the detergent. Wait. That might be an idea. Um, let's take this and combine it with that. This detergent is supposed to get rid of oil stains. Mm. Yeah. Who needs that? No, maybe this with that. This detergent is supposed to get rid of oil stains. Yeah. Who needs that? Okay, or maybe I'm just supposed to combine two socks at all, and then I would combine green and yellow. Well, those are two socks, all right. No. I need a pair. No, he wants a pair. In Elysium dressed like an idiot. Combine yellow and blue. Let's try that. Well, those no. are two socks, all right, but I need a pair. I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. Okay, then we can do some, we can try something something else. Maybe the detergent has to go in there first. Okay. Well, that's at least working. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Ah. I wonder if I can find the second sock in here. Okay, I put one sock in. I wonder if I can find the second sock in here. Yep, it's probably Wait. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. The hell? The last time I did Are you kidding me? The last time I tried that, he said it doesn't it's, it's not working, and now all of a sudden my, all my socks are in there. Um okay. Whoa, look at that. The sock changed color. You're kidding. But where's the other one? Clear case of subtractive color mixing. What? <laughs> okay. What? I just laundered them. Okay. So now I got the socks, I got the toothbrush, I got the bolt cutter, and I got some food. That should be all, right? Uh that's the socks. Sock. Check. check. <laughs> Toothbrush. Check. Toothbrush. Check. Uh No. Not a no. I bust my butt to get this stuff out of the sofa crack. Yes. <laughs> I, haven't worked out I don't know before. why the cutter switched. I don't know why it switched. I was standing here. Come on. Put the beans in there. Provisions. Check. And the bolt cutter. Bolt cutter for whatever reason. Check. Ha, seems like I've packed everything. Awesome. Oh, I can't close it anymore. <sighs> I guess I've got to unpack something. But what? Uh, you want to unpack something? Toothbrush is is definitely useful. Food is useful. Socks. Bolt cutter. Hmm. Well, it's a planet of dump. I think I'm gonna keep the bolt cutter. Let's just get rid of the socks. It doesn't take that much space. Okay, then it has to be the bolt cutter. I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. Mm -hmm. I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> now it sits. We can, and ready to go. Can we still take the bolt cutter with us? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well prepared than me. <laughs> this time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah! That's what you said last time. 
It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. <laughs> but say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. <laughs> As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. Alright, so all we have now is this. We have a wrench here, there's a suitcase. We can go back inside, it looks like it. Let's take the wrench. What else do we have here? Control panel, a fuse, a harpoon. <laughs> Wait a second. Huh? Oh! Okay. That's the pot. I thought that was the house. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, what's down there? Store space. There's the seat. Okay, then let's go up here. Wenzel, let's talk a little bit. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Uh, any signs of the Organon yet? See you later. Do you also think there are boundless riches about the plan? I'll go back to work then. Okay, let's start from the top. Any signs of the Organon yet? Any signs of the Organon yet? Nope, but they'll be here. The Organon are always on time. I have... It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. I have no idea what an Organon is. Uh, do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Don't know. I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, but I will have so much more. Aw, oh, poor, poor Wenzel. About the plan. About the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No. No, no, no. The plan is perfect. But... But... Oh! Um... Let's off from the top again. Uh, I haven't tested it, but it looks like, yeah, the suitcase doesn't fit into the pod. <laughs> the suitcase doesn't fit into the pod. So you didn't think of adding some storage? That's underneath. Of course I thought of it. But so what's the problem? I already told you. There is no problem. <laughs> the plan is perfect. And who am I to contradict you? No one. <sighs> Anything else? Uh, what happens when I'm done with the pod? Now, what happens when I've got the pod ready? We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse and jump into the cockpit. You have calibrated the harpoon, Not right? yet. Not yet, but there'll be plenty of time for that. Uh, if you say so. All right. Pack, calibrate, light fuse, and... I'll launch myself into the upper spheres! Well, at least there's a chance that the magnet will hit the cruiser. But... No but. <laughs> this time, everything will work. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. It will be a spectacle. No doubt. Any other problems? Um... This time, it'll work out. I just know it. Sure, Rufus. Of course. Ah, no, we... N Did I know his name was Rufus? I'm not sure. No problem. Why? Oh, of course not. Of course. How could I ever think such a thing? So, um... Okay, uh, see you later. See you later, Wenzel. You've always been a loyal companion. My friend. My helper. My sidekick. I was your sidekick? I always thought you were my sidekick. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's go back to work. I'll go back to work then. You better do that. You haven't got much time left. Okay, uh, pretty sure I can't use anything on that, uh, on him. Ah, oh, that was Tony's house. Um, all right, let's go inside once more. So first of all, before we do anything else. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn. Nope. 
That would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Okay, that, that doesn't work. Um, let's go out the other side. Chili pepper. Take that. Ouch. You can't take that? Okay, interesting. Doorbell. Mailbox. <laughs> New problem. Oh, crap. It screwed oh, no worries. I got the right tool for that. Then the world? Okay. Hello, Hannah. Hey, um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. <laughs> ah, I'm really terrible with names. Uh, is the tunnel closed again? Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Ah! Uh! Another junk slide. All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Okay. Uh, that's just really funny. He said Sector 7. Uh, last week I finished Final Fantasy 7 Remake and the main sector is Sector 7 with uh, 7th Heaven and stuff. Uh, yeah, cool. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? The big, angry, breathes fire. Huh? My former girlfriend. <laughs> ah! Tony! Well, I guess she's down in her store, working, like everybody else. Except you. <laughs> I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. Huh. Oh, yeah. Another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. <laughs> I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problem. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. Okay. The plan itself is foolproof, but... Here we go. Ha! I just need to prepare the capsule for the launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Uh-huh. Then what? The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. I see. And then? Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. Well, I really don't see how this plan of yours could go wrong. <laughs> I see a lot of ways. <laughs> don't worry, I'll make it. Okay, um... I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Okay, so we can't go back there. Uh, what am I supposed to do with um, the mailbox? Can I do something? I've already unqueued. Hmm. So we're just taking it with us then. Okay. So storage. Uh, actually, let's take the suitcase. There. Now, where shall I put it? Uh, down there. The storage space is closed. Okay then, let's open it. There's nothing that needs to be screwed here. What? I've welded this thing long enough now. So how do I open it? Uh, just like that. Okay. Oh, what else is there? A battery. Hmm. There and now. Good question. <laughs> battery, seat, storage space, suitcase. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. So, battery. I just got that from there. Hmm. Control panel, fuse, harpoon. This will be the most spectacular departure ever. I just need to prepare my escape pod for launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the ch then, th this time... Okay. 
I'll have to prepare the escape pod first. I want to be better prepared this time. Mm hmm. Hmm. Saddle shape. And with a compartment where the battery could fit exactly. I might have found my replacement seat. Ah. Wait, what? Replacement seat? <laughs> New problem. Oh, crap. It's screwed tight. Ah, okay, so that means we have to get rid of the seat. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. Oh, really? Okay. Then we put the seat on here. This isn't much use now, I guess. Wait, I, I thought this is for the seat. Huh? Ah, oh, no. Ah! There you now go. we have a new seat. Okay, I get it. I get it. Although I don't know what I need this for now. Ah, so. Ah, we put it in there. That's. Ha, there you go. That's actually good. Here. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. All right, let's calibrate the harpoon. However, we do that. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then I'm gone. Ha! This will be a walk in the park. Okay, so, uh... How do I move? Ah! Okay. Uh, I've no idea how to get there, to be honest. There we go. Ah, oh, this took forever. I did it. Now, I'll just light the fuse and boom. Okay. Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. And who is this? Don't tell me this is Tony. Hello, Rufus. Tony, why okay. are you sneaking around <laughs> like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. Um, but you know, sorry about the some some of the things you said. This final goodbye. There's nothing you can say to prevent me from going. It's too late. You can back all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Why you're here? Uh, let's just take the top. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with. You can stay with me. <laughs> uh, Sergio, hi, nice to see you. Uh, have an exam in five minutes, but here I am. Oh, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Best of luck to you. Mm, not much. I was going, I'm restless. I got a volume of this Psychopaths manga that came in yesterday. Ah, nice. You are restless? Okay. Uh, I'm doing fine, buddy. Just trying out this new game. <laughs> This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. <laughs> There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. <laughs> no, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. <clears throat> okay. So... Yeah, we have to light the fuse. I know how. Uh, we just... Control panel? I better not touch this again. It's all set up and ready to Oh, this go. was just this. Okay. Um, I just want to still want to talk to her. 
I'm out of here. The sooner the better. Okay, can I give her the seat? Tony can stand for a while. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'll lose that. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> yep, Tony has some screws loose, no doubt about it. <laughs> Funny. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're done. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna leave. I'll, I have no idea what I need the seat for. Actually, let me just go back one more time to into the house just to see if I can use the seat for something. So, let's light the fuse. Now is when it counts. And let's leave. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. 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 Bridger, we are happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? <laughs> Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Ah, oh, shit. ...find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience... No screws. ...sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Shit. <laughs> 